which software tools do you need to successfully self-publish a magazine and which tools do you don't need? In this video, I'm going to share my top 10 most favorite self-publishing tools for magazine publishers. I'm going to give you an overview of what each tool is used for and some alternatives. Now, don't worry, you don't need all of these tech tools. This video is intended to help you make decisions that are right for you. In my opinion, if you're not a Gmail user, you should be just because of this feature. Google Drive is what I use to organize all of my content for my magazine before I give it to the designer. I use a very simple Google folder system, say that four times fast, Google folder system, that allows me to understand what content is going to be used for the cover, what content is going to be used for the welcome letter and table of contents, and then what content is going to be used for each one of the articles. As you can see in my folder system, it's very simple. There is a Google document that is the actual content, the article of the magazine, and then there are some items like the contributor's headshot and then any additional lifestyle photos or stock photos that we want to include in the article. When I'm ready to get the content to the graphic designer for layout, all I do is hit share and share the entire folder with the designer all in one shot. In my opinion, Google Drive is a must have for magazine self-publishers. In your self-published magazine business, if you sell a lot of advertising or have a large amount of content, you might want to consider checking out a flat plan manager software, which is a complete all-in-one setup for magazine businesses. One that I can recommend is called Mag Manager. They're based out of the UK, but can service you no matter where you live in the world. Mag Manager is a great tool if you sell a lot of advertising in your magazine and you have a lot of contributors. If there are just a lot of moving parts, something like Mag Manager or their competitor, Magazine Manager, might be right for you. Mag Manager does a lot more than Google Drive, which is just meant to organize your content. Mag Manager also lets you organize your invoicing, your sales quota, your sales forecasting, your renewals, and more. Another tool that I love as a magazine self-publisher is Canva. Sometimes clients will request that we design their magazine in Canva for a myriad of reasons, but usually because they're on a tight turnaround and they want to be able to get through revisions quicker. With the right graphic design knowledge and skill, Canva can be used to complete your entire magazine layout as you see here on my screen. Another reason why I love Canva as a magazine self-publisher is because it is a great tool to design all of your promotional graphics. What you're looking at here on my screen are the social media graphics that we created for one of our clients for each one of their contributors. Our client, Steve here, Steve the Hurricane, shares a contributor graphic and some text posts with each one of his contributors, and it helps him promote. We can also design all of his e-newsletter headers, his social media banner headers, and everything that he needs to promote the magazine. Canva is a must-have tool as a magazine self-publisher. Once you have your magazine design and you're ready to share it as a digital magazine, you're going to need some software or some kind of a tool in order to take your final PDF and convert it into an online flipbook with clickable links. And that is exactly what Publitas does. Publitas is one of my favorite tools for taking your magazine and turning it into a flipbook, as you see here on my screen that has clickable links on it. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by a clickable link is that you can turn website URLs into hotspots on the PDF that when this is shared and it goes live, your reader can actually click on the hotspot and click through to the contributor's website. When you're ready to share your final PDF flipbook of your magazine with your subscriber list, you'll come back into your Publitas account and copy and paste the publication URL and then put that inside of your email drip campaign to share your magazine with your readers. Publitas makes it super easy peasy. What if you want to not just have a digital version of your magazine, but what if you also want to sell print copies of your magazine? What I highly recommend is that you use this tool here called Picho. Picho is a software company that allows you to offer print on demand services as a magazine self-publisher. 
Through their plug-in print checkout, Picho allows you to put a little piece of code on your website and then be able to sell as many print copies that your reader wants. They can order one copy at a time or up to hundreds of copies at a time. Let me show you how it looks in actuality on my website. Once you've uploaded your PDF to your Picho account, Picho is going to give you a little piece of embed code that you can put on your website to create this checkout experience for your website readers. You can set your Picho to give a preview of your magazine. And then the coolest part about Picho is that your website visitor can order as many copies of your magazine in print as they want. And if you have just a little bit of tech skills and can follow directions that they give you, you should be able to get this implemented on your website quite easily. Literally, it takes less than five minutes to set up. Of course, if you're selling your either digital magazine or your print magazine or any other services related to your magazine business, you're going to need a way to process payments. And Stripe is my preferred software tool as a magazine self-publisher. Stripe makes it easy peasy to integrate with my WordPress website, with my ClickFunnels website, with my Picho account, all of the different software tools integrate very simply with Stripe. So Stripe is the tool that I recommend for payment processing. All right, so you have your magazine design done and now you need a website. And you need a website because this becomes the hub of your marketing. It's the place that you're going to send your traffic. You need some place to send your subscribers to sign up and for your advertisers to learn more about what you're doing and how to work with you. So I have been using this particular WordPress website for about 10 years and it has a lot of value because of the SEO or search engine optimization that has been done by creating a boatload of content over time. I have been feeding this gendevore.rocks WordPress website for years by creating blog posts every week and optimizing each page for search. So this is the main place that I put my personal magazine signup page. It's on my gendevore.rocks website. And then I just create a, a page on that website to send people. Now, one thing that you'll notice about the WordPress website is that I still keep this page as a funnel, a magazine funnel. There is not the main navigation turned on across the top. I don't want people to go find me on social media. I don't want them to learn more about my services. I don't want them to read my about page and get lost on my blog posts. There's only one thing that I want them to do, and that is to sign up for the free digital subscription. So my point is that even though this website is a WordPress website, I still follow the rules of it being a landing page or a squeeze page with very few options for, for clicking around. You can only subscribe or learn how to become a contributor or an advertiser. Having a website is a great place to start when you are ready to start marketing your magazine. But the other software tool that you're going to need is some kind of an email marketing system. I use and recommend Active Campaign. I love Active Campaign because it integrates seamlessly with WordPress, but it also seamlessly integrates with ClickFunnels, which is another software program that I'll tell you about here in a second. But I like Active Campaign because it helps me automate all of my email drip campaigns, all of my follow up for my magazine subscribers. It helps me do my email blasts to my list after they've already gone through my in initial email drip campaign. It also helps me send my contacts the relevant information for them based on their behavior. Yes, inside Active Campaign, you can actually see what links your subscribers are clicking on. You can personalize the email to them based on their behavior and do a lot of automation functions that you're going to need to stay top of mind and relevant and make offers to your digital subscribers. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for any amount of time, you will hear me or you will have already heard me say that the main goal of your magazine business should be to build your email list. That's why I recommend that if you haven't reached your first 1,000 subscribers yet, that you give away your digital version of your magazine for free. And when you have an email marketing system like Active Campaign set up, then this is the tool that you're going to use to follow up and deliver your magazine to your subscribers. Your email list is the gold in your business. As I previously mentioned, I also use ClickFunnels in addition to my WordPress website. 
Yes, I do have magazine landing pages and sales pages that I've built on ClickFunnels. I've been using ClickFunnels for a long time. And one of the things that I like about ClickFunnels is that it works for nearly every business. It it also has a really great drag and drop editor that make building landing pages for your magazine quite simple. Now, really, in full transparency, the number one reason why I love ClickFunnels is not just because of the software, but it's because of the education, training, and community that they have built in ClickFunnels. So if you're just getting started marketing your magazine and you need some education and some training and some support and a community behind you on what funnels are and you're you're just like, I'm starting at the beginning, Jen, and I'm doing this myself, then I would recommend that you go with ClickFunnels. Related to ClickFunnels is a bonus software program that I want to recommend to you, and that is Funnel Scripts. Funnel Scripts is what I call Mad Libs for copywriting. If you are going to create all of your email drip sequence, all your follow-up content, if you are not going to hire a copywriter, if you're not going to hire a publishing team like me and you're going to do everything on your own, your copy and the way that you're presenting your magazine in your funnel and in your marketing is going to be key. You fill in the blanks, you hit the build button, and then funnel scripts will auto populate a rough draft of whatever copy you are working on. Funnel scripts is a great tool to help you create all of the written content that you'll need to sell your magazine, including your email scripts, your sales funnels, and your landing pages sales copy, sales letters, with a little bit of practice and work, this tool can help you become an expert marketing copywriter. Artificial intelligence or AI is taking the world by storm, especially in publishing or content marketing. One of the brand new AI tools that I'm pleased to present to you is from one of my friends, Austin, who I mentioned earlier in the video, and it's a tool called Syllabi. Syllabi can help you create content ideas for your magazine. It can help you come up with article ideas, but it can also help you create the actual articles. Let me show you how this works. One of the ways that you could use Syllabi, the AI content creator, is to come up with article ideas for your magazine, but also to give you a very rough draft for the article that's going to go into your magazine. This is going to be especially useful if you are contributing articles in your own magazine or responsible for all of the content. This is going to be a time saver. So basically what I did was I put in the title of my article based on what Syllabi had recommended to me based on keyword research. And um, Syllabi also gave me an outline for this topic. And then when I click the AI generate article button, it gave me the foundations of an article to use in a magazine. Now you could use this not just in a magazine, but you could use this to help you get writing prompts for blog posts or even social media content as well. Another cool feature about Syllabi is that it has a content calendar that you can use to actually help you plan your promotional content for your magazine. Syllabi is just in the beta stage right now. I got early access because I know Austin, the creator of it. But if you're interested in getting access to Syllabi, I will go ahead and put a link down in the description box below so that you can check it out and be one of the first to see this brand new AI tool. I love being organized and having a system as a magazine self-publisher simply because there are so many moving parts in the entire process. Creating your own magazine isn't just opening up a Canva account, throwing on a design and exporting a PDF. There's a lot of pieces and parts that go into it, including the planning, the research, the editorial content calendar, the writing of the articles, the editing of the articles, then it goes to the graphic designer, then you have rounds of revisions, and then it needs to be marketed and all of the steps involved with building your subscriber list and keeping your advertisers happy and getting your eyeballs up. Because there's so many moving parts to the magazine publishing process, I love Trello as my preferred project management system. Trello really helps me stay organized, stay on deadline, and stay sane. What you're looking at on the screen here is my Trello workspace. And I have an additional video on how exactly to set up your Trello workspace that I'll link down in the description box below. 
I'm not going to dive into all of the details on how to use Trello in this video, but I just want to point out and show you what a Trello workspace could look like. Now, you're going to be responsible for setting up your individual lists, so you'll need to be able to break down the process enough in order to create the lists. But Trello is going to help you stay organized and stay sane because you can add members to your card. This could be like your graphic designer or your content creator, your publisher, all, your, all of the people that are helping you with your magazine. You can also set due dates for yourself to make sure that you're hitting your publishing deadline. And when a task is completed, you can move it from an active list to done and get that satisfaction of checking something off your list. Wow, we've covered a lot today and there are hopefully some new software programs that you've learned about here in this video that are going to help you make some better decisions. But wait, there's still more. There are many other tools that I use to make marketing simpler as a magazine self-publisher and just as a content creator and a business owner in general. I'm going to link down below in the description box this website here that you can only get to if you go looking for it. It's not public on my website. The cheat URL to get to it is stuffgenloves.com, but it has all of my recommendations for technology, for content creators, including magazine self-publishers. So be sure to check out stuffgenloves.com.